just bewitched to look like the night sky. I read about it in Hogwarts, a history. Will you wait along here, please? Now, before we begin, Professor Dumbledore would like to say a few words. I have a few start-of-term notices I wish to announce. The first years, please note that the Dark Forest is strictly forbidden to all students. Also, our caretaker, Mr. Filch, has asked me to remind you that the third floor corridor on the right-hand side is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to die a most painful death. Thank you. Now, when I call your name, you will come forth. I shall place the sorting hat on your head, and you will be sorted into your houses. Hermione Granger? Oh, no. OK, relax. Mental, that one. I'm telling you. Right then, mm, right, okay, Gryffindor! Draco Malfoy. Slytherin! That's not a witch or wizard who went bad who wasn't in Slytherin. Susan Bones. <laughs> Harry, what is it? Where shall I Nothing. Be? Nothing, I'm fine. Yes. I know. Hufflepuff. <laughs> Ronald Weasley. I know just what to do with you. Gryffindor! Harry Potter? Difficult, very difficult. Plenty of courage, I see. Not a bad mind, either. There's talent, oh yes, and a thirst to prove yourself. But where to put you? Not Slytherin, not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here, in your head. And Slytherin will help you on the way to greatness. There's no doubt about that. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Let the feast begin. <laughs> 